Heaven Below is whatever you want to make it. I named the band Heaven Below because what we need to do is make ourselves feel good down here. Like everybody's always waiting, is there this afterlife? Is there something that happens? Are we progressing towards something? The truth is, no, no one knows. So the best thing to do is to make the best of what you have now. John and I had moved from Texas when our other projects had ended. I had a band that toured the world and sold half a million albums, did Ozfest, really cool stuff. I've known Patrick since we were kids, and I came out to Los Angeles to play with Patrick. He's a sick guitar player and an amazing singer and a great songwriter, and he's got loads of talent. And I met this guy, Chad Clark. Me and him hit it off immediately. I was just leaving a band with one of the guys from Puddle of Mud. And I had another band from uh, a guy from All American Rejects. And in that day, I met Patrick at a rehearsal studio. We hit it off, and he said, Hey, if you ever need a drummer, you should call me. The next guy to join the band would be Mr. Jesse Bilson. They call me Balls. I don't know where it came from, it just happened one day. Jesse is definitely our free spirit. Woke up, and there it was, under my pillow. And we opened the doors, and he jumped out butt naked and runs down the parking lot. I'd rather not talk about it anymore. And Jesse came in and played Patrick's solos note for note. Right now, I really dig When Daylight Dies. I feel like when I wrote the lyrics to it, I, I felt like I was outside of my body and I tapped into something. And that's when I write a song that I feel really good about, I don't feel like I wrote it. I feel like the song wrote itself. And one person I made friends with was Ben Moody. He has a band called Evanescence. And now he's got a new band called We Are The Fallen. It turns out we were both fans of each other's work. And he wants to work with my band. And he produces a song for us. Come see Heaven Below and you're gonna get your face torn off. Um, when you get in front of a big crowd that's really into it, it's, to me, it's just like, you know. If Chad's back there swinging his sticks all crazy, Patrick's throwing his guitar all over the place, and John's jumping all over the stage, that only means that I've gotta bring that same feel there are times in our music that are delicate as fine crystal. But we'll turn around and break your teeth in. It's got Patrick and me and Chad and Jesse and it just really works into one big, big ball of rock. Here I come again, I'm about to You know, from the time that I heard and saw the project, I knew it was going to be big. We all see the same vision, and that's what makes it a very powerful force. But getting in people's faces and giving them an over-the-top rock show, and just trying to make a full-blown cathartic experience, that's really where it's at. <laughs> 